Well, I just did my morning watering and I did find some bugs. Here we have some ants doing their farming thing. They have hooked themselves up to some little aphids that are on this branch and they are happily doing what ants and aphids do. And that's not okay with me because it means that they're sucking the, the sap out of this little Douglas fir here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them up a little bath, a little shower out of some uh, products and some water. I'll show you what I do with that. So here's the products I'm gonna be working with. I have some sort of a spray bottle. For me, I use this large one because I have a lot of bonsai. I have neem oil extract and I'm gonna use some dish soap. Now you can use the neem oil separately from the dish soap, but this time I'm gonna really power it up suds the heck out of these little creatures and see if I can get rid of them. Uh, there's also some products you can buy in the store ready-made called insecticidal soap. It's a mouthful, isn't it? That's a lot of S's. Uh, so that would take the place of this dish soap, but this is super common and spray bottles are common. Mix that, maybe you know, a little squirt full in some, some water and you can go spraying at your plants. Uh, it works on a number of uh, insects, including these aphids. So. I'm going to use neem oil. Neem oil is uh, in, for organic gardening, so that's the place where you'd normally find it in the organic gardening section of a, a, a place that sells that stuff. Um, I have my big sprayer because I have a lot of bonsai and so I'm going to need to, to spray a lot. Once you see them on one plant, it's likely that they're going to be on more of them. Uh, for the neem oil, it's some smelly stuff, so you could definitely wear gloves with this if you don't like to have neem oil smell on your hands all day. It's not as bad as, say, fish emulsion, but there's that. This is an oil that mixes pretty well with the water. I'm not going to have to use a whole lot of it in there. I'm just going to follow the instructions on this. And uh, this is, I think, a, this is, a, I believe, a two-gallon sprayer container. And this one is, uh, I think it says a tablespoon per gallon. So two capfuls of this is roughly two tablespoons for the two gallons. And then for the dish soap, I'm just going to eyeball it. Not about that much, that's plenty to make some suds and stick it to the, the bugs. Now because of all the dish soap, this is making a ton of suds in there. Now I spray the entire plant because chances are if I see them in one section of the plant, they're going to be in other sections too. There was in fact an ant's nest inside of the soil on this Douglas fir. I must have brought it home with me when I collected it and just never noticed it. Uh, so, started out with the woolly aphids on this and I eradicated those. Now I'm on to just the standard aphid. Beyond that, I'm hoping it's just a, a clear bunch of branches on this thing. I want to continue letting it be healthy because this was collected. So now I'm going to move on to the rest of my bonsai. I have all this section that I got to do. So all these plants in here, they're going to need to get some, some showers too. I also have all those over there. Alright, so me and my buddy the spray bottle are going to go and spray the rest of all these plants here. Uh, try to keep all the aphids away as much as possible. And I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it because uh, once you let these things go, they can really demolish any of that new growth that you're trying to keep going at this time of the year. So, thank you for watching Bonsai Echo. Hope to see you again soon.